we're just gonna go? Yeah, we're just gonna wing it. <coughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> What's up, everybody? Hey, everybody. How are you? Um, it's sexy Wednesday, day Sunday. It's it. it's Wednesday, everyone. It's Wednesday? Yeah, we're gonna start just doing Wednesdays. Wednesday. Because the weeks are going so fast. I don't know. We we'll just call it, it sexy Wednesday. 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 That's got some. <laughs> actually sounds like something that might go on at Desires Resort. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, the last time that I was at Total Wine. Yes. I found Which this... was like yesterday. No, it wasn't yesterday. It's been... Well, you were weeks. there on Monday. <laughs> and I know you were there on Tuesday. No. And I know you were on there on Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday. No. Saturday. Oh, you didn't go Saturday. But it's Sunday, so <laughs> it's been or a is couple it Wednesday? Of weeks. I don't know it's, what it is. It's been a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks. I was at Total Wine buying some stuff, and I found this thing, and I, we put it in a little picnic container so that it'll stay cold. So I found this thing. And it was this odd display. They were just kind of like it was weird. Stacks of cans, because and the website is weird. The website is weird. And the people that own this are kind of weird but that's all right so we're gonna kind of do a bo an unboxing it's an unboxing of a box an unboxing of wine and <laughs> but that's it that's all we got for today love lust <laughs> Shut and up. laugh we're not done we'll yet you. we're not done yet okay Okay, so we're going to do an unboxing of this Babe Grigio. Babe Grigio. And I've never had wine out of a can before. And this has bubbles. Not too sure I'm going to be up about the bubbles, but I'm going to put this back here so it'll stay cold for a minute. Yeah. And Should I open this while no, you're no, talking? No. Oh, okay. You don't, you're going to. Okay. Yeah, so, so we're going to close that up for a second. So I want to talk about it. So it, it's a four pack. It's eleven ninety nine at Total Wine. I remembered to write down the price. Yes, eleven. And so on their website, it's uh, babewine.net or wine babe drink babe something like that dot net. I'll put it in the description. It's probably it not says, the wine babe that I site that I go to. I'm sure. Mm, probably not. It says following the infamous Southampton rosé shortage, and then I'm gonna put it a little bit more um, politically correct. The three guys behind white girl problems. Just listen to what I said, people. The three guys behind white girl problems. White girls have problems. Created white girl <laughs> rosé. And then a year later, they created another company. And so then they created Babe Rosé. And then in 2018, they came up with Babe Grigio and Babe Red. Red with bubbles? I don't know. And yeah. they said that because yeah. we yeah. love you and you deserve all the wine your heart desires. So they had some cute stuff. It was kind of kitschy, but, you know, that's just the way it is. And then on the Vivino app, there's apple, peach, honeydew, maybe some pear, and it's a pale straw color. So we're going to we're gonna um, test this out. So I would say that this is, because um, we always like to support small businesses, so it's a small yeah. business. And... They, I, we, we will, we will not assume, but we take it that they are LGBT kind of based organization. That could be hence the white girl's problem. But you probably. are assuming. Because they, <laughs> because they probably have a bunch of these rich white girl friends that always want to hang out with them. And then they got to sit there and just hear all these fucking problems. But you're assuming, so, so we're not like, going to assume. Oh my God. So my dad bought me a Bugatti. <laughs> and I wanted the blue with the light tan, and I got the black with the red and burgundy. And it's like, what am I, a vampire or something? I don't know. And then it's like, I'm like, Daddy, like, I don't think this is gonna match my outfits and stuff. And then the other girl's like, Oh my God, I know what you're saying. My dad bought me a Lamborghini and a Porsche because he couldn't decide which one I would want. But either way, all the colors were wrong. Okay, so the website says that three cans That's is, a, this one, is her ignoring me. Is one bottle, which is true because there's supposed to be 250 milliliters per can. So three of those would make a bottle. But then on their box, it says one can is two glasses. 
Usually you get four glasses in a bottle, so I'm not sure where they got the two glasses on the size of glass. out of the can yeah. when the three cans is a bottle, but I don't know. I don't know. So, um, it's, you know, so much yes is like one of their tags. At Drinkable, I guess, is their Twitter. It's kind of reminding me of Zima. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, um, remember in the late 80s early 90s with the um oh what was this stuff called at the grocery store where it just said beer yeah well beer no but what was that called auto drinks that all the time down there at the 7-eleven no, no, no. what, what was that what was that movement where it was no brand it just said beer it just said chips it just oh like um it, well it's like industrial or it's um oh what is that generic uh, generic generic yes so it's very generic a very generic generic yeah and i think that's what kind of caught my eye at the store because like i said it just had stacks of cans and i think that's what caught my eye because it was just this very generic oh. box and so i wanted to see i mean what it's it tasted not like it's aesthetically it appeals i think it, it's i think it's, it's very portable you can yes, take it on picnics yes. you know how we like picnic yeah. stuff um, um and we did bring our picnic uh cooler so that we could keep it cold. I probably shouldn't be shaking it so much. Yeah, no, because there's bubbles. Yeah. So, <laughs> so anyways. We're going to open it and so we're going to try it three ways. We're going to try it Ooh. straight out of the can because Ooh. that's way some people would drink it because it's, you know, you take it on picnics. And then we're going to try it with a straw. So whoa, we're a whoa. Bit more now elevated. we're getting a little kinky here. <laughs> we're going to try it with a straw so it's a little bit more <laughs> elevated. And then we're going to pour it in a glass. Yes. So, and then, you know, um, this, yeah, go ahead. And then we decided to make a little bit of picnic oh. food. So we have the uh, Cape Cod kettle oh, chips. There it goes. We I got have my thumb down prosciutto there. and calabrese salami wrapped around cheddar cheese. And then we have some almonds and dates, kind of like Do picnic you, food. The box is a little hard to open, but if you just get your thumb down in there, really good. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> Okay, so I'll take one out. Do I get one too? Yeah, we're gonna do okay, two. Put that back and then in there. We're gonna put so this it's back nice in here so cold. it stays cold. Because we want it to stay cold. Yeah, we want it. It's, I think this has got to be cold. This okay, is... so just like the just like the um, the box, it's a very generic can. It does say on the back, "Hey, you guys, you look really cute today. Whatever you're doing with your face is wrong, anyway." No, is what? work. Oh, working! So, my anyway. God! <laughs> so these we made this gorgeous can of Pinot Grigio with bubbles for you, you because we love you. And to be honest, someone needed to. It's like duh. duh. It's like Have oh the my best God! Day ever you're welcome. Valley is it so is very Valley it's, speak, but it's so over. Like that died in like the eighties, and it's the twenties. So it's very Valley speak. Even though I think they're from the Hamptons, so. Oh my God! Did you hear that Trump has COVID? <laughs> you know, and her daughter comes to our party sometimes. His daughter, so like, maybe we should just like ban that bitch. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God. So are we I'm opening gonna, this. Yeah, so oh, so and we're having. <laughs> I already we're... introduced that. Do we? You, yes, did it, did I you just did it. it. Yes, I did. Oh, I, oh my God! Okay, so you like. Were opening it, I. So as you can tell, I'm kind of off, right? <laughs> I'm just. I don't know. I'm in a mood. Okay. And so I'm we're gonna kinda, drink it like you would at a picnic. It opens like a Schlitz malt liquor. <laughs> it opens like a Schlitz malt liquor, eh? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're, I'm going in. So you're going in. <laughs> Well, the size of the can is about right. <laughs> Not good. It didn't look at your face. No, it's a little sweet for me. It's not overly bubbly. It tastes like a Red Bull. Well, not a, some sort of Red Bull thing. It does. I don't, have I ever had Red Bull? I'm not sure. I don't know if you've had Red Bull, but it tastes like something like an energy. So, um, yeah, it's a very, it's actually really subtle. It's a little sweet. But not overly sweet. It definitely needs to be really cold. Oh, man, so try it with a straw, because now we're gonna elevate it. So try it with a straw. <laughs> Can I bend my straw, or would that be gauche? You bend your straw. Oddly enough, I think it tastes better with a straw because you're not tasting the the metal. <laughs> Me at a party. 
So, <laughs> did you hear about Rebecca? Oh my God, she got crabs. <laughs> oh my God. I told nice. her that photographer wasn't just taking modeling pictures. <laughs> White girl problems. <laughs> so I think it tastes better with the God, straw. God, it almost tastes better with the straw, doesn't it? Isn't that kind of... I think oh. it tastes better with the straw. Okay, so now I'm going to pour my Don't forget, if you pour that out and it sucks it... You know what? I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. What's your mouth? I'm gonna make you drink that in case it sucks out of the glass and then I still have my straw. And I'm gonna watch well, you. Here, do I it. won't even pour it all. <laughs> so, on. Um, I'm gonna screw you. On no, uh, the vino, it did say it was light to medium bodied. Definitely is. Um, it says pale straw. I think <sighs> it's really pale straw. It's almost like... I'm just kidding all. I'm going to go ahead and do it. It doesn't have... It's not overly bubbly, which is a good thing. You know what? It really pretty much tastes like champagne to me. Well, champagne is made out of... Well, out of Pinot Gris, right. I think. But... You know what I mean. I don't think I would like the red at all. No. But it may, may taste like, isn't Lambrusco bubbly? So it may taste like Lambrusco. Because you'd have to have it cold. And cold reds, like really cold reds, not that. I think it's better out of the glass. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, it's better out of the glass. I do too. It's not as sweet, but maybe because I'm getting used to the taste already. So it is a little sweet when you start. I'm trying to think, you know like, this like should this? be an ingredient for a cocktail. Oh, does yeah. this Does this, like, I mean, okay, so is this, like, kind of like a stand on its own thing? I'm not sure about that, but, boy, I could see this in, like, some sort of cocktail. <gasps> strawberry. Yes. Slice of strawberry in there. So it said two glasses out of one can. That's one can. So, no, two glasses out of one can. Unless those are really small glasses. <laughs> well, we're not all luscious like you, Leanne. I mean, like, oh, my God. All right. So it's not horrible. I think it would make a good um, spritzer. You could add some more. We have a friend that likes to add club soda to wine. I think she would like it. Yeah. Well, she's making spritzers. Yeah. She's making spritzers. Um, so she might like this. And then we have Can some. wine spritzers go out, like, with the 70s? And then we have some other friends that may like this too because it's a little bit on yeah. the sweeter side. Yeah, we, you know, everybody's got their own taste. Um, so what do you think about? Okay, so color, you know, it's it's pretty. It is sparkly, and it's really. It's. I'm gonna hold it up to the background through the camera because look at that. You can see the landscape wow. behind it. Yeah. So if it's. You, I hold the glass, and so you can see the trees and stuff through the glass. It's so, got I a like considerable, that. it's it's a light cling, but it's got a pretty considerable cling for, like, basically a, a very light wine. Mm -hmm. So what were the tasting notes it was like? It said it was apple, peach, honeydew, some people said pear. Um, Definitely get the apple. Definitely get the honeydew. Pear, yeah. No, it's fruity. Yeah, it's a very um, fruity, light wine. You know, this would definitely go with picnic picnic foods. Um, I think fried chicken. Yes. I think this would go with fried chicken. Um, I think it would go with Asian food. Spicy, yes. like general salad chicken. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I think yeah. this would go... Would this go with the calabrese? And you told them I, what, what I made. What right, yeah. Made. And you know the price, four of these at eleven ninety nine. So four of these is one and a quarter bottles of wine. One and a third, I'm sorry. One and a third bottles of wine. So eleven ninety nine for one and a third bottle of wine is not a bad price. It is a approachable price. Because you know, we try to bring you guys stuff that's approachable. Right? We want we want the stuff that's not pretentious, that's pr approachable. This is uh, a very approachable wine for people that like bubbles and people that, because um, this is basically a sparkling wine. Um, so this is, a, I think this is approachable wine for people that like it a little bit sweeter. It is very crisp, so it'll definitely go good on picnics on a hot day. Um, they have like 
baseball caps that said go sports and stuff on their website so they they must be sports fans so this is definitely something you would drink out of the can at a baseball game or a football game i agree yeah and it's hot and you want something cold and you know bubbles is always a little refreshing but sometimes champagne makes you a little lightheaded I don't think this would make you lightheaded like champagne tends to. Even like, though... oh my God, that last baseball game that Daddy took me to, it was like, oh my God. <laughs> and then, we're here we are, we got to sit right in the front, and all the guys are sweaty. And then, at the end of the game, I got like all this sign crap that I don't even want. Like, I got like a fucking mitt, and like this baseball bat, and a ball, and a helmet, and a jersey, and a jock strap. And I was like, what do I do with this? It's just in my closet. My closet. What was that? And I, what the hell was his name? Like he was really famous, too. I guess so they say. I don't. Know. I'm not sure what if this I goes do? with this. No. It, it goes with the almonds, though. No, the prosciutto, the prosciutto cheese, and we went kind of. We're pretty we, low we budget went today. We to picnic. We just yeah. So Cape Cod chips, yes. Um, and then we just did a, we did, uh, the, um, Sargento mild cheddar sharp. cheese, sh oh, is it the sharp, sharp cheddar cheese slices? We always have like three packs of those, which is a must have. We have, first. oh my God, we go through at least Excuse a pack me. a week um, of those cheeses. And then we just had some leftover, uh, prosciutto and we had the salami packs always. Um, and, but I didn't want to cut up any of our good cheeses. I'm not sure about that. The, the salamis yeah. and the this cheese. This is really making me kind of... Burpee? Oh my God, don't be so gauche. <laughs> Just... Is... In our circles, it's... Is the sign for burpee or farty? So the Sun Sweet dates, which aren't my favorite. I, we've, I've told you guys that before. Because they're a little sweet, hence the name. It kind of goes at the beginning and then it gets kind of an acid taste towards the end. So I don't think the sun sweet dates go very well. So the flavors are there. It's almost closer. It's a it definitely it's sparkling wine. It's almost closer to a, a, um, a bottle of Brut Champagne um, to me. Um, yeah, but Brut is not that sweet. But, Brut's right, dry. but sweeter. Um, definitely. It's just, it's definitely, it's got all the fruits, all, all the fruit flavors in there. So if you're looking for a fruity... Uh, uh, spritzy kind of drink, a light drink. Well, and you, like I said, you could add some club soda to it to kind of make a spritzer. Without a doubt, it's got to be served cold. Oh, or and ice. you know what would be really pretty if you wanted to cut this down a little bit? So we need to make some cocktails out of this because I think cheese got yucky on my finger. Um, I think if you cut it down with a little bit of uh, not club soda but mineral water. Maybe. Maybe. And then put uh, a slice of peach and a strawberry in here. A slice of peach and strawberry would work. With but ice. even if you don't put the mineral water in there, I would say put some ice in here with the peach and the strawberry. I think that would be really... And maybe some mint. It would be an elegant cocktail. Um, oh, and by the way... We really love the comments that you guys have been making about yes. the sparkling water suggestions, and we're gonna do a we're gonna do a we taste gonna testing one, yes. on uh, three popular um, sparkling waters, and then how to present that as a sexy, elegant yes um, mocktail. Yeah, mocktail. Because you guys, I mean, we we probably got six or seven comments about all. Oh, I've all, I'm always a DD, and I I never More thought about that. drinking. Yeah. I never thought about drinking mineral water and stuff like that. So we're gonna do like a taste testing on the mineral water, and then do like a mocktail. We have some great ideas, and we know yeah. you're gonna love it. So where are we at on this? Um, so I like it. It's okay. okay. Um, for what it is, okay. wine out of a can. For because you got it, what it is, wine out of a can. Wine out of a can. It is a portable way to drink wine. Yes. I prefer it not in the can. So the can was the bottom, the straw elevated it up, and then the glass yeah. is a must. Yes. So 
Um, if you're in a place where you can have it out of a glass, the thing I like about this the most, and I just thought about this, if you don't drink a lot of wine, but you like a glass of wine once in a while, right. buy a four pack, and then it doesn't go bad. And we all know Leanne likes a lot of wine. So yeah, I don't have that problem. Her. But like, for, like for individuals that may drink, I mean, white does keep longer than red, but because this has bubbles, this is actually like something that, you know, if you maybe only drink one glass of wine a week. I'm just saying restraint, be... Leanne. We have an image to keep. Do you have to and do the whole image... football team? Can't you just do half? Maybe, maybe a quarter stretched out over four parties. Like, oh my God. My image is to drink wine. Um, okay, so but what... But my point is... What is your rating? But wait, my point is, is that if you don't drink a lot of wine, <laughs> and you like bubbly wine, that this might be a good value for you, because if you don't drink a lot, you can have one can, you know, one can a week, or two, or whatever, and it's not going to go flat or bad. So if you don't drink a lot, this is definitely a good value for you. It just rang, Not rang my bell. Not necessarily for me, but it's a good value for those who don't drink It just rang much. my bell. It's not white girl problems. It's white girl problems. <laughs> well, I am a problem. Did you, did you see yeah, where that already I'm a went? problem. I'm a problem. So where are we at? So okay. the one that, the one that so did. I'd say for me, I'd give it, uh, are we going to do the three ways we taste it or overall? The can, straw, and the glass? Let's do it overall? overall, but let's just, we could, you could kind of, Break the. Let's do the overall rating, and then we'll break it down by what. Okay, is it? so it's a little sweet. So I think my overall would be, but it is versatile with food. And see, it may go better with food too. It may go better with. I think fried chicken, fried chicken, no. Kentucky fried chicken. I think would go really because it's really it's got that greasy. I think it would go really good with that. No, I haven't had Kentucky fried chicken probably ever. Oh, you can go get that tonight for dinner. But we're going to do shorties. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So. Anyways, um, I'd say, oh, you know, I hate giving low scores because that's just not me. But I know. I hate doing that, too. I'd say a six. I need to just. A six overall? Maybe a seven? Hold on, everybody. I got to kind of refresh my. So I'd say maybe, okay, you know, I hate giving low scores. I'll give it a seven, but that's, remember what we've told you before, we're not professional tasters. So this could score high from professional tasters, but since we're not, we we score based on what we like. I think a six. I'm, yeah. And I'm going to give it a six because I think I, uh, I. that's what I was thinking was a I, six. I know that I, I, it's, it's a targeted it's a targeted wine for for for, and that is a very valid point. It is, is it, very um, what's the word? I'm it's very targeted for, for a very is specific. Targeted not the right word. It's um, no, which is fine. It's a um, niche. It's a niche wine. Niche wine. Um, yeah, no, I I definitely. Um, it's targeted toward a specific demographic. So I'm gonna give it a six. Um, you know what demographic that is? It's like the younger crowd. Yeah. Because remember, 20s, younger crowds... 20-somethings. Younger crowds are drinking ci ciders. Drinking ciders and sours Ooh, it's and very, It's and, very... Ugh. Ugh. I don't like any of that stuff. It's very... It's, it's, <clears throat> you don't usually get... You don't usually get burpee. <laughs> Definitely don't drink this with Indian food. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it would be like, party is over. Party's over. I gotta go. Oh, it's a good thing yeah, that he, my... It's a good thing my father picked out this love, red and burgundy. We love Indian food, but they only have it in Albuquerque. And because, <clears throat> like, we're usually going to dinner and then going out, we can't go to eat Indian food and then go out because... Our friends are like, let's go to Indian food and then go dancing. It's like... No. He'll be in the bathroom the whole night. And that's being polite. That's, that's, <laughs> that's like most people. Hey, anyway, we're off track again. Um... So I'm gonna give it a six. Isn't that why they come to this channel? You know what? I'm gonna give it a six. I, yeah, I, again, I this is, you know what? This is you. You throw it in a cooler and you drive the coast of California. But I it's bet a you California it goes up to a seven. Well. I bet you it goes up to no. seven. Um, I bet you it goes up to seven. Um, 
And then Leanna and I would be sitting there on a beach somewhere, and then all these chicks would be like, oh my god. See, it's bottled by Yes Queen in Modesto. <laughs> Ew, Modesto? Ooh. Oh my god, Modesto is a Does that dump. drop the... Modesto is a dump. Did you say... I'm sorry if you're from Modesto. I lived, I lived, I lived in Merced. Which is even bigger dump. Ew, you're from a sad? I'm not from you're there. You're not in the I circle there. anymore. I, be, I live there. Can you imagine just sitting there on the beach and these girls would be like drinking that out of the can and be like, oh my God, look but, at those old people using wine glasses. But, like I said, the, this is a very portable way. Well, you know who started this craze? Do you know who started this craze? Should I out... Sophia Coppola. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> We're not the biggest fans of Coppola wine. No, but you know, we have not had the Sophia Coppola, the champagne in a bottle. We haven't had champagne the can. Champagne in a can. Well, and that's basically what this is. This is a sparkling wine in a can. We have a very fine champagne in a can. May I open it for you? <laughs> Anyways. So we're trying to keep our videos shorter, because um, we can ramble on. How's everybody on. doing? I hopefully, uh, um, you know, I would, without getting, as we all see in the news, um, we'll survive it, I guess. I don't know. I'm starting to have my doubts. But um, uh, <clears throat> we had fried chicken right now. I know that would be really good. I yeah, it's like I'm not this wine. It's I'm feeling it with the chips, and I'm feeling it with the taste. Because the, the, it's the sweet and the grease. Not feeling it no, with any of the salami no. meat or anything mm -hmm. for some whatever like, reason. Sorry, I don't um, mean to. Ooh. I mean, like if you had like this really fresh avocado grilled chicken sandwich or something, I think that would go good. See, oh, if you had a, a very a California <clears throat> club. Yes, a Which club is the sandwich. chicken, you know, the chicken, yeah. bacon, and avocado, you know, the California club sandwich. Yes. I think this would go amazing yes. with that. I really do. I think this would go amazing. You're out on Rodeo Drive. I've never been there. But you're out on Rodeo Drive, and you're at an outdoor cafe. I can't believe and it. And you're having a California club with this. That would be an amazing pairing. I can't believe you're having, you eat club sandwiches, bitch. <laughs> You know that they have to club them to get them oh into the sandwich. God. It's like wearing a baby seal. Why don't you just wear a baby seal already? Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know you anymore. Oh Where does this shit come from? Oh my God. Where does this come from? Like seriously. You want to sell, buy a Bugatti? It's just $4.5 <laughs> million. My father said if I don't like it, I could sell it. I really don't know where it only matches with Indian from. food. I'm just saying. What? Oh my god. <laughs> but, anyways, it's, I is think. Is it this show called White Girl Problems? Oh my god, I have problems. I think this would go really. <laughs> with a California club. Oh my god, you're a moron. But I love you. What? Oh, I thought baby. It... There's a baby lizard. Oh, yeah. I thought it said white. It says white. No, it says Grigio with bubbles. Have you heard her music? Oh my god, it's just amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Should I do drag it called be called Grigio with bubbles? Grigio bubbles. Grigio bubbles. Ooh! That's your drag name. Oh my god! Hurry up, Sosh, open up. There's a new drag queen in town, bitches. <laughs> That's moi. <laughs> Grigio Bubbles. And you ain't seen anything yet. Oh my god, him as a drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> I hurt. <laughs> I might. I might actually, maybe I could actually be famous then, and then at that point, I could see that one. Anyways, all right, everybody, so here's the deal. All um, right, we're like digressing. We're digressing. We're almost at 30. 30 so minutes much, again. So much for being short. Well, there's nothing short about me. Oh, my God. So, anyways. That is a white girl problem for Train you. wreckers, you know, join train wreckers, you know. Yes. I think that's our nickname, um, train wreckers. So, a solid six, I think, is what we're agreeing. Yeah, it's a six. It's okay. Definitely throw it in the cooler. 
grab gra grab a I grab a drop top. A hit, hit a drop top, you know, like like a, the reclining rooftop. I'm like, oh my god, car, don't you bitch. Like, convertible? You know, like a Mercedes with the, it's the not top goes a down. It's called a convertible. The top goes down. Oh, is that it's what it is? Oh my I thought that was. God. Oh, never mind. That's a trans <laughs> don't, convertible. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I don't know anymore. There's so much stuff sometimes to keep up with. I hope people don't, like, get all the way to the end sometimes. But anyway. <laughs> Remember to. <laughs> Love, lust, and laugh. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> I'm a bitch, bitch. We love yes. you guys. Yes. Um, if you want more of this train wreck, we need to start saying that at the beginning, though. If you want more of this, train don't ever wreck, be offended by me because it's really subscribe. all out of love. You, you, if if you actually knew me, really, yeah, it's yeah, all out of love. Yeah, yeah, it, it's I, I have like probably one of the most open people. We love everyone. Like in this sense, and I just yeah. Unless really, you're an asshole. Just, like, the, and that's that's Becky talk coming out. Becky. Unless you're an asshole, we love everyone. Beach Bubbles Becky. <laughs> that's a great name. I'm Beach Bubbles Becky, bitch. That's your drag And if you don't watch out, I'll kick you right out of the circle. You see Mean Girls, haven't you? Oh my God. We're done. Why do we keep you around? <laughs> Bye. Uh, <laughs> love you. Bye, everybody. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> You're a train wreck. I'm not a train wreck.